Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to sit down and do what I do best, which is trying new makeup. I feel like these are my favorite videos to film, even though sometimes I do get a little frustrated throughout if something goes wrong. I really just love diving into all the new products. It's funny because this is one of my most successful sort of series on my channel. And it's interesting because these are the videos that I personally watch a lot. I love to see people try new makeup and I love to see their reaction and kind of compare it to my thoughts. It's just interesting to me. Plus, I always love all the new releases. I've always been that way. Sorry, I went on a tangent, but you know, this is what I'm thinking about when I sit down and I see all the new products to play with. So today I have a mix of drugstore and high-end. So for the drugstore, I had some requests and I actually got this in PR, the LA Girl Sunkissed Glow Eyeshadow Palette and Collection. Ooh, is this taped? Oh, it's just stuck. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I swatched a couple shades, but I wanna do a look with that. Also in this collection, there is a highlighter, which looks a little deep, but I looked up swatches and I think I'll make it work. And then also a matte bronzer duo. So there's two different shades in here. I'm also finally going to be trying the LYS cream bronzer. This one just slipped through the cracks when everything was super busy. And then I did pick up the Refi face primer. This is a new product. I'm also going to be demoing the RMS Beauty blushes. If you know, you know, I went a little crazy and bought five shades. I don't want to hear it. Don't judge me. I also have the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Skin Essence Primer. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and play with this as well as the Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. We're just kind of going to roll with some samples here today. Why not? And then I do have the new Rare Beauty Lipsticks and Lip Liners. I did pull a few shades, so we will play around, maybe try on a couple different options, and I'll tell you my thoughts on the formula. And as usual, I may add in some other products along the way, but I will link everything I use today down below in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. I do a ton of makeup content, and if you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out, and let's go ahead and get into it. So I've got you zoomed in, and before we start on the eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit of lip oil to hydrate my lips. This is the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Lip Oil. I really like this one. Uh, it smells incredible, and it's a thicker formula. So this is like super shiny, really pretty, smells incredible, but for me, I really like how it hydrates my lips. It's almost like how the Lawless Gloss can be a lip gloss or just like a hydrator. It's sort of a hybrid because it is so nourishing. So I just really like the way it feels on my lips and I'll just let this sit while I do my makeup. I really want her to come out with like tinted versions though. So I wanna go ahead and start on an eye look. I'm gonna be using the new LA Girl palette. This is called the Sun Kissed Glow Palette. So you get 20 different shades in here. They sent me the collection so I figured we could play with it. I did ask you guys in a previous trying new makeup where I did a lot of drugstore products, if you wanted drugstore content, there was a mixed kind of feedback given, but I feel like a lot of it was not really in a drugstore, but I'll still watch or mix it up or yes, more drugstore, I'm on a budget. So I'm gonna do my best to just kind of throw in what I find interesting. So in here, it looks like you have half metallic, half matte, and then one that has uh, glitter in it, but it's matte. So I'm trying to figure out what colors I wanna use. So I'm actually gonna start out with this really deep brown shade right here. I did not set my eye base because I want this to really stick down and I thought I had these little like elf tapes But I can't find them. So, you know, we're just gonna use what we have. I'm just gonna use this Ardell, you know, lash as a sharp edge to really get the precision I'm looking for so when you dip in a lot of powder kick up comes up but that really doesn't bother me so I'm just gonna hold this right here and I really want to just sort of really blend on this outer edge and the reason I didn't set is because it really makes the pigment a lot more intense and I've noticed that when I do set my lid sometimes I have a hard time building depth so that's a little trick if you have a hard time getting your outer corner to be dark and pigmented so I'm gonna take this about halfway over and then I'm just really gonna, okay, come on Ardell, work with me here, honey. <laughs> I really uh, need to get some tape, you know, you just work with what you got here. Okay, so I have some sort of shape here and then we're gonna kind of build on this. I wanna go into the palette and I think I'm gonna use this shade right here and I just wanna kind of blend above that. So I'm using a different brush. So these are definitely powdery, but uh, so far very pigmented. 
So I'm just sort of gonna go over what I just did and blend sort of into the crease here. All right, well that escalated quickly. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, so we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go, I think, into this shade. I might mix a little bit of this in, and I'm gonna soften the edges, and then we'll see where this look takes us. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of got a little carried away. So I'm just gonna take this and blend the edges. So far, I'm not having any issues with the palette in terms of like pigment or blending. It's working really nicely. I just don't know why <laughs> I decided to do what I just did, you know? I just don't know. So hopefully adding this in will sort of soften the look. So instead of just like, you know, something more avant-garde like that, it will be hopefully more of like a really intense smoky eye. So I'm gonna take just a clean brush here and I really wanna try to soften this. I'm gonna try to take just a little bit of this shade alone. I feel like this is oftentimes a problem area for me because my microblading makes it hard to blend over all that concealer and then just that microblading out here. So I'm just adding some of the black. I went way too intense with this, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm just adding the black on the outer corners just to really have that smoky look. If we're gonna take it there, we're gonna take it there. So just applying that and then I'm going to go in with a shimmer, hopefully lighten this up a little bit, trying to decide what color I wanna go with. I might do this one right here. So I wet my brush because I really want to make this pretty defined. So far, this palette is performing really nicely and I'm actually putting it to the test legitimately by doing something so dramatic with so many different deep shades. I'm not struggling with the shadows at all. And then I'm gonna go into the deepest shimmer here. I'm just gonna try this dry, just to blend into the outer corner. So almost like marrying the two shades here. So now I'm taking that black shadow and I'm just pressing this on the lash line to prep for lashes. Okay, so I applied lashes off camera. I will link them down below. It was a bit of a struggle, so let's hope that they stick. But I wanna try out this Pat McGrath Divine Skin Rose Essence. So this was her first like skincare product, and I feel like a lot of people were not really feeling it, but I will say that everybody that I've seen demo it or use it said that they really actually liked it. It's quite hydrating. Now it does have fragrance in it, which I mean, you know, a lot of skincare does. But I have this sample here and I thought we could just test it out. I probably would never buy this just because I don't really use like an essence. It says it preps the skin with nourishing hydration and instant luminosity. So I'm interested to try this out. It is like a milky texture. I think the actual full size, it separates and then you shake it up. The packaging is really beautiful on the full size. So I'm just going to drop some onto my hand. Okay, so it has a really light fragrance much lighter than I had anticipated. It's not something that I feel, what is that? Okay, it's there, but it's not overpowering or something that I feel, you know, would sting my skin. My skin is turning red because I keep touching it. So I think because it has that milkiness to it, it is quite hydrating, but I like how it's thin in texture. So it actually feels quite nice on the skin. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like with the Pat McGrath Essence. I feel like it looks nice and it feels nice and hydrated. I feel like I could see why people like it. I would prefer something like that to have zero fragrance. And of course, I would have to see over time if it broke me out, but it does feel nice and hydrating. So I wanna go in next with this primer I purchased. This is the Refi Glow and Sculpt face primer. So this is super interesting because it has a really weird applicator, which I'll get to. This is supposed to be good for redness. It has a radiant finish, a hydrating priming serum with a facial roller to sculpt your face and leave a healthy radiant glow. So it definitely has 
really interesting packaging. I'm wondering if this is sort of a play on, you know, like sculpting your uh, face with like a, you know, ice roller, stuff like that. So as I use this right now, it's not cooling or anything, uh, but there's no product coming out. So you just squeeze the product. Let's see if you can see it coming out right there. And then I'm gonna start applying. So, I mean, I feel like, again, it's one of those things where I get the innovation, but the actual functionality of this, I honestly just want to go in with my fingers and blend it out because it just doesn't get blended evenly into the skin. Sometimes innovation is really cool, but is it functional and does it serve a purpose? Like for me, if I was going to depuff, which is sort of like what a roller does, I would just use like an ice roller or even just my hands. So the applicator, honestly, I probably wouldn't use it like that. In terms of how it feels, it's like a really thin gel. I thought it was gonna have more like radiance to it, like actual like glowy particles to it, but it doesn't. It just appears sort of similar to the Pat McGrath, just not milky, more of a gel texture. It just gives me, you know, some hydration to the skin. So I'll have to see how this sits under makeup. Refai is one of those brands I want to love everything. I love Jess Hunt and her makeup aesthetic, and I love the packaging, but some of the products are hit or miss for me, so I'll have to see how I like this over time. So for my T-zone, I'm going to use my Hourglass Vanish Airbrush. This is just going to keep me matte and because I used both of those sort of like serum products I'm gonna need something in my t-zone for foundation I thought I could try out this sample of the Valentino foundation so this is called the very Valentino light lasting perfecting foundation it has an SPF of 26 it says that it's transfer resistant buildable semi matte coverage what does semi matte coverage mean I don't know so I'm hoping that I have enough because I do have two samples here. So I'm just going to do sort of what I did when I tried out the Givenchy and just mix all of these together basically. All right, so I've mixed all of them together just haphazardly to try to get enough product. So this definitely has that Valentino scent to it. I don't think I'm going to have enough. So this is all I could cover with the samples I have. I feel like it is a matte finish, so it's not going to be like a hydrating option, but I do think that the coverage is like low end medium. It's not super high coverage and I can already see it looking a little bit dry. So I'm not sure if this is gonna become a favorite, but if you've tried this, let me know. It's really hard to figure out if I like it, if I can't even get you know a full application. But I'm just gonna go on the other side with my Too Faced Born This Way Matte mixed with my NARS Soft Matte just to hopefully look somewhat cohesive. <laughs> so now I wanna jump into Cream Bronzer. I wanna try out the LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer. I got the shade Harmony. So the packaging is really beautiful. It's the standard uh, triangle that all the packaging comes in. The only thing I will say is when you're closing it, you have to be mindful, otherwise you're going to jam up your bronzer. So this seems really creamy and very, very pigmented. So I feel like a little goes a long way. I got the shade medium, so I'm just going to put some on my hand here. I had a horrible experience with the Pacifica cream bronzer, so I'm hoping that this is better, and it already is off the bat, okay. So I'm just working off my hand here. I'm gonna be like crazy bronzed. So this is a very pigmented formula, and even though it's really emollient, at least just from what I can tell, that was super easy to use. Like it's emollient, but not greasy or sliding all over. I've heard a couple people say that it was too emollient. I don't know, that was pretty easy, honestly, and I struggle with cream bronzer. So this is what the LYS bronzer looks like blended out. I have to say this is one of my favorite cream bronzers. I feel like this was super easy to work with, and I was almost afraid it was gonna be difficult because a lot of people were describing it as just so incredibly emollient. I feel like it blended beautifully. It's a little dark, 
but I've also heard that the light shade that is one down from this is really yellow toned, so I don't know, but I feel like, I mean, that was really easy to use. So for me, this is good so far. I'm interested to see how it sets with powder and you know how my concealer and blush and everything go around it. So I went ahead and did my concealer, set my T-zone with my Huda Beauty powder, and then used the Dior uh, Backstage Powder No Powder to set the bronzer, and I really like it. I will link all the products down below, but I wanna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Nabla. This is my favorite eyeliner, although I can never get it open. Okay, maybe it's because I'm on my last leg here, but I'm gonna use this in the waterline and then smudge it out. And I'm connecting it to the outer part of the eyeshadow. Jumping back into the palette, I'm gonna mix these two brown shades and I'm just gonna smoke this right underneath. And then I think I'm gonna try this pink shade on my inner corner. I hope it doesn't clash. Just to brighten up a little bit. So along with the eyeshadow palette, LA Girl came out with this matte bronzer duo. So you get two shades in here. It looks like you get a cooler tone, lighter shade, and then a deeper tone. So this is called the Sunset Glow Bronzer. So I figure, I'm trying to figure out if I just wanna kinda of swirl them together. So this is not a powdery formula, but a lot picks up. So I'm just going to go over that LYS bronzer. Okay, this bronzer is really nice. I do think that I'm looking super bronzed. I think it's a mixture of the foundation sample packet, obviously, and then the LYS being too deep. And then I probably should have just stayed in this side of the bronzer, but I like that it's not powdery at all, and it's pigmented, but super blendable. Like it looks really smooth on the skin. This is really nice. All right, so for blush, you guys know that I went a little crazy with the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydra Powder Blushes. I picked up five. I don't know why, don't ask me why. So I think I wanna start off with a lighter shade. This is called Mai Tai, and I'm gonna use a really small brush so I can really be precise where I wanna put it. These also just got restocked at Sephora. They were all sold out. That's pretty. So this is almost like a blush highlighter hybrid. It's not crazy, crazy glowy, like, you know, a highlighter, but it's sort of right in between. I'm trying to decide, I think I wanna add, mm, let's go ahead, let's add a little bit of French Rose, which is this baby pink. Oh my gosh, yes. Ooh. This one is more pigmented. So pretty. So I'm just pulling this up. I probably went a little overboard, but wow. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That is so gorgeous. Okay, so for highlighter, I wanna try out this LA Girl Highlighter in Sunkissed Glow. I almost wasn't gonna try this because I felt like it looked dark in the pan, but then I saw them swatch it on social media and I was like, okay, let me see if I can make this work. So when I'm dipping my brush in, there's no powder kick up, which is something I like, although this is a powder formula from what I can tell. So I'm just using it dry. It's pretty, it's got like a, I don't know, like a light pinky sort of vibe, but it's not over the top. It's still quite neutral. So I went ahead and wet this brush and I'm just gonna put some down the center of my nose. And then I wet this as well. I just wanna see if you can intensify it, it's beautiful. All right, so let's finish off with lips. I have the brand new products from Rare Beauty. So I got these in PR and I wanted to swatch a couple and then demo them for you. I didn't wanna swatch and use all of them just because it's wasteful for me to have 10 lip liners and 10 lipsticks. But this is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. So I grabbed out two shades that I thought I would use the most. 
This first one is called Wise, and they do twist up like the REM Beauty, so you sharpen it on the end of this pencil and not with like a typical sharpener. And then the other one I thought that would be nice for every day is Humble. Humble is more of like a pinky shade, although I just don't know. I usually wear mostly just like browns and nudes, and I noticed a lot of these in this line were sort of like peachy and stuff like that. So those are the two lip liners. They felt very slick going on, so we'll have to see how I like that. And then in terms of the lipsticks, these are the matte lipsticks, and the mechanism is pretty cute. You push down right here, and then you pull out the lipstick, and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna swatch a couple shades for you. Okay, so we have the shade Creative right here, we have Worthy right here, and then the one that I keep seeing people wear that looks really beautiful is Wise. This is definitely a deeper tone for me, but it's just really, really stunning. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do. I might start off with a lighter version and then we'll move into the deeper. So I'm gonna start lining my lips with the lighter shade called Humble. I just wanna feel the formula out and see how deep this color is. So in terms of the formula, it feels quite gel-like to me. It's not super slippy like a color pop, but it's not dry and like tugging like a MAC. It feels like a gel, which I don't dislike. All right, so here's the lip liner in Humble. I feel like it's really pretty for every day. It's definitely a pink, which I don't wear a lot, but I wanna add on this lipstick in Creative just to sort of play around. So this is like a super blanked out combo, which is why I use a darker lip liner. So this formula, it's not uncomfortable by any means, but I do feel like it's going to possibly show lines. I don't have lines, to be honest, because my lip filler, but I could see it being something that would maybe like make your lines look more prominent. So I wanna wipe this off and try another lipstick color. So I wipe that off and I wanna try the shade Worthy. This is more cool toned. Yeah, this is definitely more cool than the other one. I kind of like this, but I feel like I need a darker lip liner. I just always feel that way. So this is Worthy. Okay, so I wiped most of that off and I wanna go in with the deeper lip liner in the color Wise. I wanna line my lips and then play around with some of those other lipstick shades. All right, so this lip liner I love. I love the color of this. It's not too dark. I just really love the tone of this. So I wanna go in with the matching lipstick in the color Wise. And I wanna see how this looks, cause it looks darker. I feel like these almost, the lipsticks look darker in the tube. Okay, so this lip combo would be gorgeous for fall time. It's a little bit deep and vampy for the summertime and also with the blush I have on. So I'm just gonna remove a little bit of the lipstick and try another one of those shades with this lip liner just to see what kind of look we can get. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with the shade Creative. This is a me shade, 100%. And just put it in the center as I always do. I know it's boring, but I just really love a deeper lip liner with a lighter color in the center. Okay, this lip duo is giving it to me. If you like similar lip combos to me, the lip liner in the shade Wise mixed with Creative is so gorgeous. All right guys, so here's my finished makeup look and I wanna go over my thoughts on the products. I have to say I found some products I really, really like today. This LA Girl palette was super easy to use. I mean, I used the deepest shades. I really challenged myself today, and I had zero issues with any of these. The mattes were super easy to blend, very pigmented. They were powdery when you put your brush in, but other than that, I have zero complaints. I love the color story. I mean, let's be real, I'm a neutral gal. I think this is a phenomenal quality palette, especially for the price tag. So I'm interested to keep trying this out, but this is really, really nice quality. Moving on to the Pat McGrath Divine Skin Essence. Honestly, 
I like it. I feel like my skin looks nice. I don't know, again, why it looks nice. It's a combination of a lot of different things. So I'll keep testing it out. I'm glad I have this little sample that I feel like I could get like five, six uses out of so I can really figure out if I like it. I wish it didn't have fragrance, but I feel like that's sort of the appeal, you know, the rose essence. But the fragrance I didn't find to be overwhelming. It really just feels like a hydrating sort of like serum essence. So I'll keep trying this out and update as I use it up. Similar feelings about the Refi Primer. I feel like it's a gel formula. It gave me hydration and I do think my makeup looks nice on top of it. I just feel like this is a little bit gimmicky. I know it's innovative, but it's really not something that I would use to apply this. I again would just use like a jade roller or a ice roller, something like that. So again, it's really interesting, but for me it's really not functional, but it's not gonna detour me from using the product. It's just a little bit weird to squeeze the product up from the roller if you're not gonna use the roller. It's hard to tell how I feel about the Valentino foundation. Very similar to when I tried the Givenchy, when I just have not much to work with because I did end up mixing it with my NARS. And I feel like whenever I mix anything with my NARS soft matte, I usually like it. So I don't know, it's one of those where this is really pricey and I just picked up the Givenchy. I felt like this was matte and I felt like it was a medium coverage. It really kind of reminded me of the Givenchy uh, Prisme Libre Matte, but I would say less luminous and less coverage. But I feel like my skin looks quite smooth, so I don't know, maybe I will pick this up too. It's just really hard to tell. So if you've tried this, let me know down below. So the product that shocked me most today that I actually really like is the LYS Cream Bronzer. I usually don't love cream bronzers. I'm able to tell you in terms of formula if they blend well, if they're emollient, if they're dry, patchy, all of those things. But I actually like this enough to like use it, which is crazy. I typically just go for a powder bronzer because I don't wanna deal with patching. This did not patch at all and it stayed in place. Very pigmented. The shade is a little deep for me. I really love this. Like I heard people saying it was too emollient. So I was scared because I have combo skin but I did not find it to be overly emollient once you blended it on the skin. And of course, I used a beauty blender and worked off my hand, but this is absolutely stunning. I'm also super impressed with this LA Girl Bronzer Duo. I like that there's two different shades, although I will say they do need to have options. Like we need like four, you know, four split pans, you know, fair, light, medium, deep, something like that, because I feel like this is not going to fit everyone. Although having two shades, it's going to fit more people. But again, we need more options here. This is a really beautiful formula. I like that it's not powdery. It went over my foundation and the LYS cream bronzer just effortlessly. It's very pigmented, but it didn't feel like I couldn't work it out. So I really like this again. You know, maybe I've been sleeping on the drugstore products. You know, I don't know. I actually made five orders yesterday, five. I had to go to five different retailers and look for all the new drugstore makeup and I made five orders. And I think that's one of the reasons that I just don't usually is because it took me like an hour to really like track down all of these new products, brands, because a lot of it is just not in stores near me, like Ulta, Walmart, Target. We never get the new stuff. So I feel like I'm always like literally on a hunt. So that was a side note, but I bought a ton of new drugstore stuff. So I'll just keep incorporating it. I'm really impressed with these LA Girl products so far, but I will tell you that holy moly, this blush, you need it. If you like baby doll, this RMS blush, I don't know why I waited so long to try this. This is a 100% yes for me. My tie is gorgeous as well. This makes me wanna try all of the shades that I bought, finally, as I should. But these are just like super glowy, but not powdery, and they have pigment. I feel like the pink one is more pigmented, which was French Rose. Ooh, just look at that glow on the skin. These are absolutely stunning. I also quite liked the LA Girl Highlighter. I almost didn't even demo this. When I got it in PR, I put it in the donate pile because I thought it was too deep, and it looks deep in the pan. Wait a minute. Ooh, it smells good. This smells like tropical. Did I miss that? in this whole collection, some, I don't know, this smells like a butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, but it's not too deep. Once you blend it on the skin, it's really sort of like one with your skin. You can definitely build it up. Keep in mind, I did build it up, but it's not like blinding like a stripe or anything like that. So I feel like this is another 
really nice product. I have to say this new collection from LA Girl, I think a lot of people are going to love. And lastly, let's talk about the new Rare Beauty lip products. So the lip liner, I actually like more so than the lipstick. I really like the shade Wise just because it's more of a deeper brown shade. One thing I noticed is this kind of reminds me of the BK Beauty color range just in the fact that everything is very like peachy pinky not the typical I guess like brown nudes that we see a lot I feel like a lot of times we see a ton of nudes like MAC cork or the makeup by Mario has a ton of just like nude brown shades which is my preference so if you don't like that and you're looking for more of like peachy or pinky or even mauve different tones like that I think you would really like the tones on this I actually like the lip liner I don't feel like it's too slick I had heard another review say that it was even more creamy than a ColourPop and I don't agree with that I think that it's not as slippy as a ColourPop it's definitely not as dry as a typical standard pencil lip liner because this is a twist up not like a sharpened one but I actually really like the formula and this is my favorite shade I just feel like this shade's a little too pink for me and in the line I don't know if there's any other shades that would really call to me for a lip liner other than wise just because I always prefer a deeper like brown color in terms of the lipsticks I really love the shade I have on called creative it's just a light peachy nude shade and I can mix it with all of my nude lip liners. In terms of the formula, it's not like dry, it's not powdery, but I did feel like this may be a formula if you struggle with lip lines that accentuates it and it could just be the really light shades. I don't struggle with that because I've had filler you know, I just have plumped up lips, so I don't really have lip lines really anyways, but I know some people just have a lot of lip lines. So if you struggle with that, I'm not sure if this would be the most forgiving formula, especially in the lighter shades, but it's not drying. I don't feel like it's uncomfortable in terms of pigmentation. I feel like it's, you know, a standard pigmented lipstick. So this is something I have to play around with more and just sort of use with other lip liners, wear longer, see how it wears, but it doesn't feel drying to me and it doesn't feel heavy like it's gonna gunk up. It's very lightweight. And in terms of the color selection, again, lots of peaches and pinks. I would love to to see some more variation um, if she does expand them just because I feel like a lot of the shades are quite similar just from other videos I saw and just sort of looking at the lipsticks without actually swatching them so I think that is everything for this trying new makeup I really feel like a bronze goddess I honestly feel super bronzy I think it's just because all of the bronzer I used was just a little too deep for me, but overall I feel like the look is fun and I got to test out a lot of new products and I found some new favorites. So I will link everything that I used today down below in my description box, but I also wanna know, are you interested in any of these products? Have you already tried them? What have you loved? What have you not loved? I would love to have a chat in the comments as always. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.